Hey everybody, it's Michael Goldsman here. I just wanted to get on here for a moment and talk to you a little bit about entity issues. And in just a second, we're gonna do an entity clearing process. So please stay tuned for that. But I encourage you to listen to what I'm about to say here. So the number one reason people contact me, they go to my website, clearingconnect.com, they fill out my contact page. They ask me and tell me, hey, I have this entity issue. Maybe I've been to other people around this issue, try different kinds of processes to clear it, and I can't seem to do it, or if I can seem to do it, it just comes back within a few hours, few days, few weeks. What do I do? And what I have found, what, you, what one needs to do around this issue is to really get more educated about what's really going on. So let me break it down for a second. Entities are really non-physical energies or beings that can be attached in to a person's field. People who are sensitive, like people watching this video right now, can often perceive this, even without any formal training or background or any external person telling you, we can often perceive it in ourselves. And it's very, very disconcerting. It can be very, very bothersome. And the question naturally would be, what do I do about this issue? Well, I have found that entities are a symptom, not necessarily a cause. In other words, the entity issue is a symptom of something else. It's not necessarily a problem in and of itself. Yes, we'd like to have it cleared and released from our system, but when we try to just approach the symptom that way, we often are not really dealing with what the cause is. So what is the cause, if I had to break it down, cause of entities? In my opinion, in my 20 years of experience, the cause of entity issues is um, a part of ourselves not being in present time, um, being stuck, trying to still work on or trying to, or still being unresolved with some person, some situation from some often very difficult or painful scenario from the past. I'm not necessarily talking about past lives. I'm talking about something between your birth and now, something difficult, something potentially traumatic, maybe even a host of things that you have moved, you've progressed in time to this present moment, but there's a part of your psyche that may not be resolved, may not have let go uh, of that particular person, that situation, that scenario. And not to put any blame on you or me for that, these are what we call very difficult, painful memories, even traumatic memories from the past. They often take time and really a lot of care to be able to work with, with perhaps the right kind of facilitator to help our, ourself to be able to really resolve and heal these issues. So when our soul is still um, unresolved around a particular situation or scenario, there's a loss. There's a loss of our psyche being able to really be in this present time. This leaves us vulnerable to entities. It also leaves us vulnerable not only to picking up non-physical beings that may feel weird, but physical beings. We may attract people in the physical world, situations and scenarios that just seem like, why am I still attracting this? Why do I seem to attract the same kind of person who does this to me over and over again? And you could say the same issue. You could say, well, that's the problem. The person over there, the, these groups of people who are always doing this to me, I just need to figure out how to get rid of them. But hearing this video, you might now say, well, the other people who may be treating me in a particular pattern, a particular way over and over again, they're a symptom. They're not necessarily the problem in and of itself. The symptom is what is going on in me? What vibe am I putting out to the universe and to life? And why am I doing that? It's not my conscious mind. I'm not thinking this way necessarily. I'm not wanting to pick up discordant human beings or discordant entities. So why am I doing that? And I often find myself telling people that I am not going to be able to necessarily make a permanent shift for you either, because it's not necessarily about just clearing the entities out. Yes, we would love to be free of them. And to some extent, going through processes that help us to do that and that help us to clear some of the underlying reasons for them, this is very helpful. But we also have to work with the right kind of trained facilitators to figure out what is going on in my biography from, say, birth till now that 
maybe there's some place there that is not really healed, there's not really resolved, is often a deeply painful place or difficult situation, something we've been through, something that we can probably identify. Once we begin to work on that, we begin to bring our soul back online. We begin to bring all of us back into the present moment so that we can begin operating as a whole being once again. So this is the kind of thing that a lot of entity clearers are not really going to tell you because they don't know. It's not that they're trying to rip you off. They just don't know. So in the spirit of all that, though, I'd like to do some entity clearing with you, as I promised at the beginning of this video, because it can still be really valuable to you and to me throughout all phases of our journey. So if you would just, you can watch me, you can close your eyes. If you're willing to participate, just take a deep breath and just relax. I'm going to begin to bring in um, more of a facilitated energy into this space more consciously. So I'm going to ask now that all people who are watching this video, they be surrounded and protected with love, light, and healing. And we're going to call forth their own higher self and their own guardian angels and guides to be with us here. And we're going to ask in this moment to clear and to remove 100% of all infinite varieties of blocks and interference. We're going to ask to clear entities of all kinds, uh, whatever names they may have, whatever varieties they may have. We're going to ask to also clear and to resolve all of the reasons within our own consciousness why we may have attracted, created, or why we may be holding on to or bound to these beings. And I'm going to ask for this initial infinite clearing process to also overlight this part of the clearing. Just take a few deep breaths. Just allow the sound of my voice or the intention that we're holding, the space that we're holding to help you to release. Just releasing, just letting go. You might feel tired. You might feel kind of like some clearing or a, like a light, light feeling happening in your head. This is because one of the things we're doing here is also helping to clear limiting imprints that can be blocking your ability to, to feel a kind of mental clarity. And we're asking to clear and to remove. Just allow yourself and allow your own guidance system, allow the energy coming from this recording to help you. And we're asking in this moment to finish this clearing and to clear for each person here any reasons why, even if they're completely subconscious, why we may recreate or even desire to reattract the entities or beings or energies that are being cleared from us now. Clearing the space around each person as well as their immediate energy field. So I want you to just feel into yourself right now. Feel into your space if you were feeling an entity before this recording or if you didn't know if you had one or not. Um, you might just feel a greater sense internally and in your immediate energy field of something shifting for the positive. And that's a sign. I, I want you to kind of anchor that feeling in. Just notice it. Notice it. What does it feel like to you? And keep encouraged. Remember that you can be free, completely free of entities. It's going to take work. But I hope that some of the things I've said in this video are going to continue to encourage you and you'll take positive action. If you have questions about what I'm saying here, please feel free to post comments below this video. I check the comments, so I'm happy to answer there. If you want a more personal um, you know, feedback, go to my website, as I said earlier, clearandconnect.com. You can reach me there. Thanks, friends, for watching.